concerning and yeah. maybe set a precedent moving forward. If you had plans to be outside, you might hit a couple of these little passing showers. A drug bust and a few arrests made. Look at what they hauled in here. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Nine News Now on Indeed. a Monday. Yeah, welcome to a brand new week. Yeah. Just look at this shot. That is a gorgeous looking, I mean, the, the, the contrast of clouds yeah. and sun rising over. If you look, the clouds are moving in to cover that sun. Yeah. Okay, so can we keep them there, you think? That would be nice. I mean, that'd be, that'd be kind of nice. Even just the uh, smidget of relief just, just would a little be nice. Bit? Yeah. I, I, I don't think that's going to work out the way we want it to today no. or for the foreseeable future. No. I know, Steve, wow, I know we're wow. waking up to another week of hot temperatures, but is there any relief in sight in terms of rain or cloud cover? No. <laughs> nope. Nada. Uh, yeah, it's just not looking good for relief anytime soon. We've got uh, an excessive heat warning in effect once again area wide. By the way, as you guys talk about this camera shot, maybe the hope for at least a little bit of uh, shade here as these clouds move across. A reminder that the temperatures we report to you are measured in the shade. So if you're in direct sunlight on an afternoon where we're telling you the temperatures say 100 degrees, that's in the shade. In direct sunlight, that could be 10 degrees or more hotter if you're actually in direct sunlight. So on a day like today, it gets up to 101. You're in direct sunlight. That could be more like 110, 111, 112. Keep that in mind. That is our live Sky 9 camera view brought to you by Our Lady Lake as we at least temporarily see some clouds moving in. Not going to help out much. 83 Baton Rouge right now. Gonzalez at 80. Hammond 79. New Roads at 78 degrees. All right, for today, it's kind of more of the same. Mid-90s by lunchtime. I've got the high today at 101 and your rain chances running less than 20%. So back to Liz's question, not to make light of it, but no, it doesn't look like any significant relief. Certainly not today, really not anytime soon. It's going to stay very hot, not much rain. This is a heat index forecast from the National Weather Service. Might be a little bit aggressive, but still, bottom line is the heat index probably going to get near 115 in many areas. Got up to 114 yesterday in Baton Rouge, so dangerous heat continues. And also notice the heat index is just elevated for a number of hours at or above 105 really through much of the day. All right, give you a look at rain prospects for today and they are minimal. As we pause here at noon on the HRRR, you see one or two little showers showing up on the board, not much. Pause at three o'clock again, one or two showing up, not much. And we go in the late afternoon, 530, mainly dry. As we head uh, right towards sunset, we keep it mainly dry. So rain is not going to be of much help. If you missed it, yesterday made nine straight days at or above 100 degrees in Baton Rouge. That is a new record. Previous record had been in place for more than 100 years. That was in 1921. We had eight straight days at or above. So we're now at nine straight, and it looks like we could have multiple more days ahead at or above 100. Might be shattering that record as the week moves on. And it's the same old story. Dome of high pressure right now at center just our west, but extending eastward along the Gulf Coast. Not going to move a whole lot through the uh, week ahead, so that kind of puts a lid on the atmosphere, produces sinking air. Sinking air heats up, so it's going to be hot, and with that lid in place, just not going to be much rain to help out. We've got rain chances 20% or less today, right on through Saturday, and there you see a triple-digit heat continuing. If there were a day where maybe we fall shy of 100 for a high, Wednesday might be our best opportunity this week. We'll see, but it's still going to be very hot anyway. You slice it Sunday into early next week. Bump rain chances up a little bit, 40 to 50 percent. Even then, still looking at highs in the upper 90s, but fingers crossed to maybe get a little more rainfall in here by the early part of next week. Coming up on 707, let's get an update on your uh, Monday morning uh, drive now. Here's Johnny. Hasn't been too bad this morning, Steve. Good morning to you. We do have a new wreck that popped up uh, right here, and I'm not quite sure where that is. It looks like it might be, yep, uh, Jones Creek at George O'Neill Road, right there near Corsi Boulevard, so be aware of that. Meanwhile, traffic coming out of Denham Springs, a little slow right before and after the range on-ramp. Traffic starts to slow down before Pete's Highway to right past range, and there it is right there. You see the traffic merging onto the interstate. Those on-lanes have to get over to the left pretty quickly. And then this is uh, I-12 at O'Neill, looking back toward the the auctioner facility, so that's looking back toward Denham, and then this is looking toward Baton Rouge at that 
same intersection. O'Neill Lane itself pretty busy this morning as we uh, uh, see. 16 to 18 minutes, not too bad from Jubin all the way into the 1012. And I had to get this out early this morning and dust it off again. Weekdays, school zones, 630 till 9. Some school zones are uh, being enforced right now. As a matter of fact, some schools uh, have already gone back in. We'll see a lot more back in Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week, and certainly by next week uh, in 2 to 4 in the afternoon. Don't forget those afternoon school zones as well. 707, we do it for you every morning at your request. Capsule the morning headlines in a brief little format, and we go back to Studio B with Liz Coe and Matt Williams for that. Guys? Johnny, thanks, and we're glad that you mentioned school zones because that's it. Back to school for a lot of kids in our viewing area. In fact, this week, Everyone's going back. Uh, yeah. Dang near everybody. Yeah, you're so right. we have this back to school headquarters here. It's wap.com slash back to school. Right. That's where you can find the full list of all of the school districts in our area Look, in their very first days. Right here. Actually, if you chose to get in there and you kind of travel down, you can still find some spots and yeah. some uh, some giveaways, that kind of thing, back to school supplies and free haircuts. We talked about that kind yes. of thing. But to Liz's point, where to go for all the supplies. And look, the start dates for all of these uh, districts in our little part of the world. Yeah. So we got a lot of them, all these different parishes and individual cities as well. So what you can do is actually travel in and you'll find a running list and that. the start dates, thank you ma'am, of all of our districts in here. Double and triple check, that's a good place to be just in case you wake up one morning and like, woo woo, yeah. is this the day? Yeah. Is this the day? Right there. Enjoy your last few days of summer if you can. Exactly. Wow. So um, here's the thing, not enjoying right now the cost of back to school supplies. It's always kind of pricey, yeah. you know, a little bit. But apparently the price for a lot of things on the rise. Callie Hubbard spoke with a money expert, kind of pricing out what are some of the most mm -hmm. expensive school supplies as you go back for the school year. What tops the list? Graph paper and mechanical pencils. What? Yeah, both going yeah. up from about 15 to 17 percent. So you might that think, well, that's a big, not a big deal. But when you add up those costs over time, and yeah. let's say you have multiple kids, well, that does certainly add up, right? So when you talk about not only back to school for elementary through mm -hmm. high schoolers, back to school for college oh, kids oh, yeah. also. Yeah. Yeah. All of that price is adding up. Inflation certainly doesn't help. Yeah, we are. Uh, we're doing uh, both of those for the first time this yeah. year. We're, You're buying uh, all things for the are, first time. It's, just, it's a lot of. You're right. So a little bit of advice yeah. goes a long way. Callie's put together the story. It's right there waiting for you. WAP.com in your Nine News app. Yes. Um, okay, so a lot of that's going on today and this week. This begins as well this week today in East Baton Rouge Parish. Storm pickup. You remember about a week ago? Uh, less than, right? Because the storms kind of yeah, moved through. Ago. Yeah, last Monday afternoon. Mm -hmm. So if you have debris, maybe some large tree branches, sure. some crazy debris in your yard, today is mm -hmm. the day for residents in EBR, except for uh, Baker and Zachary. You put out the debris to yeah. the curb and it's going to get picked up, but there are some rules that you need to keep in mind. There are. It's that four foot rule. Keep yeah. it away from, you know, the water meters or fire hydrants and mailboxes. Unfortunately, we know very well yeah. how to do this because we've been through it yeah. before. But yeah, EBR, today's the day to begin to put that stuff out on the curb. Uh, as Liz mentioned, not Baker or Zachary city, city limits, but yeah. start to get that out there and get it, get it, get it got all the way. Um, oh, hey, this is coming out today. Yeah. This has been a lot of fun. Remember, oh gosh, what was it, a number of years ago yeah. when they didn't like they ran out of stickers. They didn't yeah. really have them. And that was a big thing. And they're like, well, we didn't know a lot of people. We didn't know people really wanted them. Right. We want the I voted stickers. It's a great way to well be a part of the process. Yeah. But always shows off some great artwork. And I tell you what. So last, this is the last I voted yeah, sticker. Sure. It's from a Jefferson Parish artist, Becky Foss. She's tasked with designing this new one mm -hmm. too. We're going to see the new design unveiled today, right. later on this morning. So as we get that sneak peek, we're going to send it to you to show off. It's a sense of pride having it your is. I voted sticker, Ooh, right? Used right. to be the blue dog too. Yeah. People People collect them over time. Yeah. I know it's it's a little things we look forward it, to. It's you know what? Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. so yeah, we got the primaries coming up in October, the general in November. But that will be today. Um, well, you know what the Baton Rouge Fire Department could yeah. use today? Your information, if you have anything on this arson. So does this structure look familiar mm -hmm. to you? It's actually an empty or a vacant, sure. what they say, structure. So they're calling this an arson investigation. Mm -hmm. It's actually happened Sunday. And so have a look. A large firefighter response there on Eddie Robinson Senior Drive. Happened mid-afternoon, so yeah. one of the hottest parts of the day. So oh when gosh. you talk about firefighters working out there for an empty building, yeah. they sure would like to know what caused it, if it was intentional or not. 
make the phone call. All right, want to let you know about this as well. Yeah. Uh, big kind of a, a drug bust for yeah. BRPD and, and an arrest made as well. Officers pulling DeAndre Hills over for illegal tint, but mm -hmm. what they found ended up being a lot more. Let's see if I can get so to it. they actually got this haul here, just over three pounds of mm -hmm. marijuana, mm -hmm. two guns, which one, one which was actually categorized right. as mm -hmm. stolen. You got a lot of cash here too. Yeah, about We're 20, talking, 000. yeah, tens of thousands here. So they made that arrest there, and they updating us about what they found. So this is one of the things that officers do when they happenstance happen sure. to run into something like this. Yeah. Well, they let us know about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And we'll let you know about it. If anything more comes from it, we'll let you know this is uh, set to begin as well. Yeah. Uh, the trial now for uh, Hamid Gassimi accused of um, a murder for hire plot. Yeah. His ex-wife here. Yeah. Uh, Tahara was actually found in St. Helena uh, shortly after that. Right. So now I know it's hard to imagine, but years later, the trial finally begins. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a crew in the courtroom let you know kind of what comes out of this as that begins. Yeah, it's go this goes back uh, to Liz's point uh, quite a ways here. Uh, hey, Dion Dil Guillory was talking about that this morning. We love yeah. our seafood down here in South Boy, Louisiana, right? But depending on how much you got in the, in the old kitchen at a time, you yeah. got to be able to freeze some or whatever. There are dates that you need to be paying attention to. Dion Guillory lists out the food safety standards for seafood and what you need mm -hmm. to know. So from that, yeah. we got to give you a heads up about what's happening this week, including this. Oh my God. No one was a winner last Nobody. Friday. No, we're so all losers, huh? The jackpot keeps rising, Matt. One and a half billion dollars. With a capital B. Capital B. I think it's like 1.55 officially. It's yeah. that other, it's that 0.55. That, really that is a good chunk of change. Boy, um, is it. I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to buy. I gotta fill up on the gas. I gotta fill up the gas, and so I'll be yeah. at the. I think so. Yeah, I think maybe a purchase is in the is in order this time. Get your tickets, you gentlemen. You gotta get your tickets. We talked about this Friday. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of us four actually picked any up. No. <laughs> No, no. I, I was telling you guys earlier, sitting at home Friday evening on the sofa. I don't know about six o'clock, and I was like, didn't get the Mega Millions ticket. <laughs> And then no. I was like, nah, I'm, I'm not heading out there. Well, so many people no. buying that the odds go so down, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look at Matt. <laughs> Oh, no, I just said that. After every my face Powerball didn't and Mega I even, Million. I don't even pay attention yeah. to it anymore. Yeah. Let's attention. all pitch but yeah, in the, buy, uh, the drawings uh, tomorrow. Let's all pitch in to buy a couple of thousand dollars worth of tickets and then split whatever happens. A couple thousand couple, hey, thousand. If we, yeah. if we yeah. win, can, can we get the loss? You can traffic cameras if you do that. You, yeah. put, up, you put up like a 1950 and the rest of us get 50 bucks together. We'll That's call a little one-sided. I like that, Steve. That's, That's a good way to do it. Yeah. That'll work. All right. So maybe we'll be winners collectively. Let's see in 10 minutes. Get yourself summer ready with the award-winning lineup of Hondas at Team Honda. We'll help you find just the right vehicle to hit the road to whatever